Hello you guys. Today I wanted to relax with you. I wanted you to take some time to relax for yourself. If I'm honest, I've been very stressed out recently. It's been a combination of lots of things that have been happening in my life. You know, if you click this video or if you happen to just stumble upon this, you're probably experiencing the same exact thing. The thing with stress is it's one of those like silent things that creeps into your life and it could be extremely daunting on your life. You don't learn to at least manage it a little bit. So I've been trying to incorporate a lot more self-care hacks to help me relieve stress. It's important to prioritize yourself. I find that whenever I am really stressed out I don't perform well I am unhappy I'm not able to like focus my hope for today is that you can take some time for yourself whether it's just watching this video getting inspired to do any of these little things you can take a break prioritize yourself because you're worth it so I'm gonna show you my self-care routine hacks <laughs> One of my favorite things is a hot drink. Yes, a hot drink, it kind of like soothes the muscle, it soothes the soul a little bit, but there's more to it. Every time, you know, I have a warm drink in my hand, I realize that I have to take my time, I have to be slow. And so a lot of the times when your mind is racing so quickly, the best thing to do is to have something like a warm drink that will literally force you to slow down. <laughs> enjoy comfort food. I love all like the really thick pancakes, thick smoothies, and like all these wonderful burgers that a lot of these foods you can make into like high vibrational food. They're just like wholesome foods that are good for you, that taste amazing, and that are just gonna make you feel like all warm and fuzzy inside. One of my favorite recipes to start off the day is this banana pancake with these wild blueberries, this amazing maple syrup, and then I just top it off with like this thick peanut butter sauce. I'm gonna leave the recipe down below if you guys are interested. Every other stress, go right out the window. Nowadays, you know, we're all connected. You literally are at someone's like fingertip. If you become available to everybody else's schedule, what ends up happening is you are giving up time that perhaps you would be doing things that you love or just things that you need to do for yourself. I would say every once in a while, unplug yourself, especially for self-care days. Put the phone on airplane mode. Every time I'm about to go to sleep, I literally just set my phone on airplane mode about like an hour before. And then in the morning, I do the exact same thing for breakfast. Time I'm in the shower. That is my time. Let me know what down below in the comments if you guys experience this, prioritize your time. For a self-care day, I would really recommend you to lose the schedule. Every time I'm too on top of my schedule, it's when I'm the most stressed out. Prioritize like three things in a day that you must get done and then the rest, things just happen. Just go with the flow. Something else I've been doing recently is taking mental vacation. Let's say you can't go on a vacation because of time, cost, whatever the reason is. Just take a mental vacation. What that means is literally sitting back, maybe being in nature, which is like the best way to meditate, breathing in, and kind of just going back to like a time that you absolutely love, a moment in your life, or something that you want to experience. <laughs> I bought this little mantra book, which I'm also gonna link down below. I kid you not, this book is like my compass. It always pinpoints at what I'm feeling, at what I'm struggling with, at what I'm going through. And I'm like, what the hell? It just gives me like really bomb advice. Pretty much it's just like a phrase that you read. It will explain a little bit something about whatever you're reading, and then you can repeat that throughout the day. For instance, if you'll open it up, it will be like, today I choose to accept myself in every way that I am. So you will repeat that, today I choose to accept myself in every way that I am. And so that that's like your mantra for the day. And it sets a tone for the entire day, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. Something else that really helps me a lot is not just being in nature, but grounding my feet in nature. There's like a lot of energy in the earth and people have actually healed themselves. I think the time of the day is like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. People just kind of go out and they rest their feet and they become grounded. I don't really know much of the science behind it, but every time I do this, I find myself like reviving just because I haven't connected with the earth. Do some research on it. I'm telling you from personal experience that this always helps me out. I feel grounded pretty much. Like with earth, it's amazing. Something else that will always bring you on the bright side is a pet. I find that, you know, hugging my dog, taking in all of this like cute innocence always allows me to feel so much better. Animals are just such simple creatures and I love that about that. So take some time to be with your pet. 
doing something that you love. So I absolutely love shopping for art supplies. I actually created this whole space for myself. One of my rooms is just art, relaxation, aromatherapy. So I get to, you know, have that space for me. Something awesome would be like, you know, purchasing maybe like a really good book or some art supplies. Even if you don't know what you're doing, if you see this video right now, you definitely know I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but that's the beauty of art, right? Just like embracing the kid in you and doing something fun and creative and getting crafty with it. Another thing that I find to be extremely helpful is the things you consume. So whether that's television, what you're watching right now, podcasts. I genuinely love what I'm doing right now and it is hashtag viral if you haven't checked it out. I like things about business and I like things about online video, which is what you're watching right now. I like to keep my mind active in that sense. Like, okay, what can I do next? How can I dream bigger? This is an open invitation for you guys to check out my podcast, hashtag viral. Where we pretty much talk about the business of online video and I interview amazing top creators and celebrities on there and we kind of just talk about our stories. <laughs> My husband is the co-host right now. Podcasts are a great way to not only like multitask and maybe drive and do other types of things, but also just like listen and keep your mind working, which I absolutely love. So check it out, I'm gonna link down below. <laughs> Another activity that I like to do is bringing nature into my house. I've been buying a bunch of flowers and just decorating my space to feel more like beautiful. <laughs> Such a simple activity that you could do. You could go to the grocery store, look at beautiful flowers, embrace them, and then take some home and literally decorate. <laughs> A self-care hack that never goes unnoticed is chocolate. Thank you for the person that created chocolate. I like to get this one that is super healthy. It's vegan, it has no refined sugars. It's called Hue Chocolate, it's amazing. I purchased them at Whole Foods and they're kind of hard to find, but I just highly recommend them. And it's good chocolate for you. It's like, what the heck? Best of both worlds. <laughs> Aromatherapy is so amazing. I purchased this little thing on Amazon and you can buy these beautiful oils that will just infuse your room. For me, it helps me sleep better, it helps me breathe better, it just makes me feel more relaxed and it makes me feel like a little glam in a weird way. So if you don't have an infuser or you know, just try to practice some type of aromatherapy, whether that's just a little oil, putting it on the points of like your chin, kind of how you would do with a perfume, then just kind of breathing and meditating. <laughs> Something else that I have found to be so helpful is creating a dream board. If you're not inspired by your life, if you're not taking care of yourself, printing things online of what you want your life to be like or putting it up somewhere that you could see it, whether that's in a bathroom, in a closet, it doesn't matter. It might be a little tacky, but honey, I'm telling you, you are attracting these beautiful things every single day into your life. Oh God. My husband will not be happy. Something else that I have found to be so powerful in my life, just to like take, oh my Lord Jesus Christ. While I was on the topic of journaling, let me just show you guys. Okay, so that was my journal. I was practicing some calligraphy. That was my tea. Oh my God, my beautiful calligraphy. You guys just saw my beautiful journal. That he ruined. So journaling has allowed me to take care of myself because everything that's in here gets put on paper, which is amazing because a lot of the times you don't even talk to people about all of your problems. And every time I start writing, I realize, dang, I'm going through this, I'm struggling through this, and it allows you to put things back into perspective. It's allowed me to express myself in ways that sometimes I just don't want to. Dancing is absolutely amazing. It's a way to take care of yourself. Start to dance, start to move, let your body flow. Just like building hobbies like that that allow you to move and accentuate your body, I think is absolutely super fun. I actually recently bought this uh, little wand thing that I saw a bunch of girls do in Hawaii, which I thought was so bomb. So I just go to my room, practice for a few times a day. I'm not good at all, but- It's allowed me to just take time for myself. <laughs> Warm baths are amazing. Not only does it allow you to like slow down because the water is warm, you know, adding things like lavender in there because lavender just smells so nice and allows you to like just relax your muscles. Just take some time for yourself, relax, add some bubbles. I'm gonna end this video on a little note just to tell you guys that I love you. Thank you for everything that you do in my life. I've been really stressed out because I've been working so hard behind the scenes. I'm gonna be going on tour. I'm so excited to meet you guys. There's been so much planning within tour on things that, you know, amazing, like super fun things that me, Wenji, and Karina are gonna be doing. So if you wanna meet me and hang out with me, spend some time with me, VIP tickets are almost sold out, but there's still regular pass tickets. You can go to www.createyourself.com 
your summer tour. I would love to meet you guys. Also, merch is coming really, really soon. I'm gonna be at VidCon. I don't know how many of you guys will, but there's gonna be this huge booth that says Natalie's Outlet. It will be exclusively there in the beginning, and then you guys can get it online anywhere, and I'm so excited to do that. And honestly, you guys have changed my life in ways that you guys don't even know, and I'm eternally grateful. I hope that I could always return that love back to you guys. I really hope that this video helped you and maybe inspired you a bit to take some time for yourself. And you're only one body, and you really have to love it. And so if you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up, and let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next. Chillax, Max, and chill all cool. Don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye.